Hi guys, I'm Tanya and welcome back to my channel, The Donkey Business. So when it comes to Hindi cinema, um, I think the Hindi cinema is just working on three genres. One is copying the entire of South industry. Every second movie that we watch is either a remake of a Tamil, Telugu or Malayalam cinema. Second, we are so into biopics. We are just making biopics because that's the only kind of originality that I think we are left with. Third, we are making like these commercial love story films that we know are going to work. And fourth is action. We lack a lot of originality in general. But there are a very few directors like Anurag Kashyap or like Raju Hirani or Sanjeev Labansali who actually make content and movies out of passion because they have been doing that since a while and have not changed the genre are true to what they do and are so consistent in what they're making that they have made a huge mark on the indian industry in general now the trailer of hira mandi is finally out which is a netflix original film and I am very excited for it because whatever people say that they do not like Sanjay Labansali as a director because most of his movies are too good to be true or like his love stories are super unreal. I really find him good because he's cinematic, he is very well choreographed as a director, he is original, he is doing what he wants to do and he does not care about what people think about him and I think that such directors are really need some guts to make what they do. But now I'm going to react to the trailer of Hira Mandi and let me tell you what I genuinely think about it without any biased opinion. Hey, so I have a lot to tell about the trailer and I am sure that a lot of people are not going to like what I say about it. Let's start with the cast of the movie. I have loved the cast of the film. It is very fresh to see a few people that I have seen when, while I was growing up. Like Manisha Koirala. Oh my god, I've seen her after a while and she looks evergreen and fresh as usual. Aditi Rao Hedri is obviously very nice. Uh, to watch in general. I was very appalled to see Ferdeen Khan. Um, I did not know that he was actually making a comeback. Richa Chadda is there, um, you know, Adhyan Suman is there, Shekhar Suman is there. I like Shekhar Suman, Adhyan Suman again, a very lost actor. This Farida Jalal, who I'm seeing after since a while. She was an actress I saw in literally every movie. So it is good to see like a really ensemble cast. The set design was great, the colours were amazing, it is well choreographed, it's a very good made set, the cinematography looks amazing, the music is good and I think these are very classic traits of a Sanjay Labansali film where everything is just perfect from A to Z. Now coming to the story, honestly I have my doubts that it could be a case of Gangubai where honestly I did not like Gangubai that much. It's not because I didn't like the movie because of Alia, but I feel that yes, Alia did play a big part in not doing justice to the role. How much ever I like her as an actress, I think for Gangubai, she was not the perfect fit. She didn't have that rough, tough look. Again, people are not going to like me for saying this, but I'm just being honest. And I feel that she did not do justice to the role in that, which in turn did not do justice to the film because I did not feel the connect. With this also, it's just a trailer and I understand that, you know, he's cut a trailer in such a way that it is a teaser trailer in a way. I mean, he's not kind of telling us everything. But I feel that when it comes to Diamond Bazaar, I hope that it was just stuck to the Diamond Bazaar instead of adding a love story to it and then adding drama to it and then adding like some British stuff to it. Understandable that where the British angle also comes from, but I just feel that it should have been about... How the women have actually dominated and made Hira Mandi or the Diamond Bazaar what it is. I don't know if I like the trailer that much and I don't know if it's going to stand up with my expectations for the movie as well. I have my doubts and I hope that I'm proved wrong because Sanjila Bansali can hardly go wrong but I feel that the movie could have like a real good start and everyone would be up appalled by the kind of set design it is but it could be a disappointing movie when it comes to the story is what I feel and I hope that I'm proved wrong. This is what I feel about the trailer of Hira Mandi. I am not the biggest fan of it for some reason it's not resonating with me but let's see what the movie turns out to be and 
Thank you so much for watching the video. Um, it's coming out on 1st May on Netflix and let's hope for a very good show. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.